American superstar Wesley So you had a nice day today, came back, and you're now in second place. How's yeah, it feel? Yeah, you're so kind. I mean, <laughs> I usually do decently in blitz, like plus one, plus two, plus three at the most. So, I mean, plus two is okay. I guess I'm pretty disappointed with my crucial game against uh, Jordan because also I was playing a risk-free position mm -hmm. and just missing eight in the end and blundered. But uh, um, well, speaking of crucial yeah. games, I mean, you beat you beat Magnus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I beat him also in Norway with Black. Uh, generally, oh, in that game he played one a four in the blitz. I mean, it doesn't and matter what funny. he plays. I mean, you still beat him. Yeah, I mean, uh, once Magnus gets going, it's hard for him to it's hard to stop him. So that kind of slowed him down a bit, but uh, not very long. I knew he was gonna play very ambitiously against me. And uh, yeah, somehow he said he just made mistakes. But uh, yeah, overall, I think pretty a pretty solid day for me. I didn't have much problems with my black openings. Actually, you come up with some cool ideas, including the Spanish with H6, 97, destroying your pawn structure. Oh, yeah. Do you feel comfortable revealing novelties during Blitz? Thank you. Yeah, um, well, I try to play what I know for mm -hmm. Blitz. I don't like playing, I try to avoid playing new openings, new lines, which requires a lot of memorization, try to save them for classical. Mm -hmm. Like most of the openings I played today are openings I've already played with countless times. So I feel very comfortable in a 1e4, e5 all the time. And basically just, it's important to play what you know the best. Um, yeah. For a fast time control, especially. Yeah. One and a half points away from Magnus Carlsen. What's it going to take for you to catch him tomorrow? Uh, well, there are a lot of players trying to catch him and not only me, but also. Well, you're the one in second <laughs> place though. Nepo. Am I clear second? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somehow the results uh, outside is not always updated. But uh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's very hard to catch Magnus. He's the number one player. I was hoping that he wouldn't get going. <laughs> I, in the rapid, it seems like he wasn't really playing his best. Like he lost to Shaq and he wasn't, uh, he missed a lot of chances against me and Lanier. But uh, winning five in a row in Blitz. I guess someone just has to start winning game after game. Like Ian also, at some point, they almost started winning game after game. Yeah, it seems like he's bouncing back in the tournament after a mediocre rapid. Yeah, I think it's very, what do you call it, monumental. It, it's, uh, it, Blitz is about rhythm. So mm -hmm. once you win a game or two, you can easily win a lot of games. Like in Norway, I won four or five games in a row in Blitz. Is that the plan tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, if you win one game and then you win a second one, then usually no balls. <laughs> it but, flows, right? Yeah, then it flows. But uh, yeah, I mean, someone has to has to win a lot of games if they want to catch uh, Magnus. Probably someone has to catch on on fire. Well, let's hope that it's you, Wesley. So he is currently at one point and a half away from Magnus Carlsen. I know that he's going to be trying his best for first place tomorrow. Guys, here from Zagreb, we had yeah. Wesley So. We'll have Jordan very soon. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, indeed. <laughs> one, one and a half.